Hello everyone, my name is Courtney and I'm the Cooking Matters Coordinator here at Gleaners and today I'll be making soft and chewy granola bar bites, whatever one you would prefer to cut them into, right? So all we'll need is some old fashioned granola, some honey or syrup, um, peanut butter or nut butter of choice, some vanilla, um, some chocolate chips and coconut. These are optional ingredients here. You can add whatever, dry fruit, or sweetened nuts or any of those um, components to your own granola. But today, this is what I like. So I like to mix all the wet ingredients first. So first we're gonna add in our peanut butter. If you warm up the peanut butter, it comes out smooth like this. And also if you oil the, the dish a little bit, it comes out smooth like this. So same thing with the honey. If you oil the, the dish with the honey, it comes out smooth, right? So we're just gonna add in all our wet ingredients. And it's just to make the mixing a lot more easier um, instead of us fighting. So, you want to give it a mix, right, until it's well incorporated. It should become one homogenous mixture, right? Ooh, scientific word, homogenous. Um, mixing ingredients that are not the same into one. So, once we get it all nice and smooth, then it'll look like caramel sauce, right? We're going to add in our nuts. We're going to add in our chocolate chips. And then add in our whatever this is, coconut. We're gonna add in our coconut, right? We can give it a mix. Once we give it a mix and it's all well incorporated, not yet, it's not well incorporated, um, it's still semi incorporated. We want to make sure there's no loose oats in the bowl. Everything is kind of sticking together. And this is an easy recipe because it's no bake. It literally goes in the refrigerator for 16 to 24 hours. You pop it out. You line your, your sheet tray or your baking dish with either parchment paper, wax paper, or aluminum foil, um, whichever one you have on hand. Um, and we're going to lay it out like this, right? Then we want to pat it flat, just so like our bars are nice and thick. Um, don't be afraid to get in there with your hands if you have to. It's okay. We, we're allowed to make food, love to our food, right? So spread it out nice and even. Right. Make sure there's no patches. And once we get it to about right there, we want to put it in the refrigerator for about 16 to 24 hours. Overnight's the best. And then we're able to cut it into bars. Thank you for tuning in. Um, feel free to check out our website for more recipes. Thank you.